Are you tired of spending countless hours writing CSS from scratch for every project? Imagine being able to design stunning responsive interfaces with the power of Tailwind CSS all while using a visual drag and drop editor like Grape.js. In this tutorial, we will show you how to unlock this power combination, saving you time and effort while enhancing your design workflow. As a web developer, I understand the frustration of spending hours fine-tuning CSS to achieve the perfect design. But what if I told you that you could create a beautiful responsive layouts without writing a single line of custom CSS? That's the power of Tailwind CSS, a utility-first CSS framework that provides a comprehensive set of pre-designed classes to build modern website directly in your markup. And when you combine Tailwind with Grapes.js, a versatile drag and drop interface builder, you get a match made in heaven. Grapes.js allows you to visually design and customize your components while Tailwind provides a pre-built styling, saving you time and effort. So in this video, we will explore how to harness the power of Tailwind and Grapes.js, giving you a step-by-step -step guide to creating stunning responsive interfaces with ease. So let's get started. With years of experience in web development and a passion for exploring cutting-edge technologies, I have seen firsthand the game-changing potential of integrating Tailwind with Grape.js and I am excited to share my knowledge with you. I have worked on a range of projects from small business websites to large-scale enterprise applications and I have always been on the lookout for ways to streamline my workflow and improve the user experience. One of the tools that has revolutionized my design process is Tailwind CSS. Its utility-first approach allows me to rapidly build custom designs directly in my markup without the need for complex custom CSS. When combined with Grapes.js, a powerful drag-and-drop interface builder, I can create stunning responsive interfaces in a fraction of a time. In a fraction of time, it would take me using traditional methods. In this tutorial, I will share my knowledge and experience with you, breaking down each step of the process to help you understand how to integrate Tailwind with Grapes.js and take advantage of this powerful combination in your own project. So let's dive in. Tailwind CSS is a utility for CSS framework that provides a comprehensive set of pre-designed classes to build modern websites directly in your markup. Instead of writing custom CSS styles, you can use Tailwind's modular responsive classes to style your components, saving time and effort. This is a basic example of how, of how you might use Tailwind classes to style a button. In this example, we are using Tailwind classes like bg-blue500, hover, colon, bg-blue700, text white, font bold, py-2, px-4 and rounded to style a button with a blue background, white text, a hover effect, padding and rounded corners. On the other hand, Grapes.js is a versatile open source interface builder that allows you to visually design and customize components using a drag and drop interface. It provides a range of features including a user-friendly editor, reusable blocks and ability to export your designs as static HTML, React, View or Angular components. With Grapes.js, you can create com complex interactive interfaces without writing a single line of code. So on their official website, you can see their different demos that you can try out just to see example how it is working so look at this this is a simple demo on their website so you can see everything is editable you can drag and drop and put different things very easily you can add inputs or whatever you prefer by combining tailwind and grape.js you get the best of both words the power of utility for csf framework and the ease of visual interface builder this integration allows you to rapidly create stunning responsive designs without getting bogged down in writing complex custom CSS. To get started with the integrating Tailwind and Grape.js, we will need to set up our development environment. So let's start one by one. First of all, we need to initialize our project. So I already have created folder and open it in my editors. So in order to make the integration easy, with grape.js of tailwind css we will simply use this plugin that is available on github i will also share the link in the description below so just copy this code and if you look at that it is saying that it will include the complete set of blocks from tail tail blocks 
okay now open the new file create new file index.html and let's add the basic code okay here i will paste the code that we will copy from here like that and move this div into the body and now copy paste this code here for that we need to add the script tag paste it like that now copy this code and add some custom css okay and this is optional css that you may also use so just copy paste it here so once that is done you can simply start to use it so let's try it in order to test it right click on that click on the open with live server or you can just directly open it in the browser so you can see that this editor is working here and there is a button on the top right side that is saying open blocks click on that and that will show you the list of all of the blocks that you may use so for example you want to add a header so open the header you can see all of the variations so all of these blocks are created with the help of tailwind css so drag it here and you can click on that to get rid of these lines it's just you just want to see or you can click on that uh, to see the preview okay so you can now edit this link directly here like about contact products plans or whatever okay after that let's add a hero section so there are multiple variation just copy paste one of those like this okay then let's add the pricing section below that like that let me get rid of these lines for now and after that let's add some statistics in this way okay let me add some testimonials all right now let's add some team okay and now let us some a cta and then let me add a contact page a contact section here and then let me add some blog section here blog articles would be shown here and at the end i will add a footer so let's select which one suits you okay i have added the footer now if you want to preview it click on that and you can see your landing page has been completed you can customize it at whatever you prefer very easily so once you are done uh, you can simply get the code very easily so click on this icon and on the left side you can see that all of the html that was generated is there you can just select all and copy it and all of these components are using tailwind css classes and from the right side there is some css that you should copy as well okay so let's quickly copy this all code and create a new file and see if how that works so here i will create a new file test.html and first of all create a basic structure and i will replace this body tag with my code that i have uh, okay okay so everything is done so now it's time to test it in the browser i just open it and nothing worked the reason is that right now there is no tailwind css uh, added to this web page so for that open the tailwind css website and go to the installation and i will just use the cdn and put it here okay now you can see that my landing page has been created and ready to be used you can just deploy it and start using it further there are many more options so for example uh so for example i added this section you can very easily customize it you can do different things so for example here you can see the entire dome tree and you can see what is there and you can drag and drop things very easily and you can also hide and show there are several options that you can use to play around and this is the style manager where you can uh, see different classes you can add further classes to this specific element that you currently have selected in the general you can add other styles and you can configure things you can configure other styles so basically i guess these will add some inline styles if you don't want to use the tailwind css classes so there are several things that you, uh, i would suggest you to read uh, their documentation if you want to learn 
for their depth because this is a huge documentation they have very powerful features and a lot of things that you may want to try if you are serious about your projects okay so if you want to consume if you want to see the full power of this grapes.js you can read this entire documentation and follow along i may uh, try to create more tutorials on grapes.js in future because i really like this this is a very interesting project so now let me quickly show you how you can add your own custom blog so right now let me show you uh, with this plugin you got very few uh, i mean there are some limited uh, components or blocks that you can use but uh, you right now if you want to add an an additional custom block uh, you cannot do that so in order to make that possible you can easily do that so for example here so i am creating a custom tailwind css button so you would have this code editor.blockmanager.add function and pass it this name and this is a label button and this is the content and you can see it has the tailwind css classes on it and you can organize it and categorize it so you can simply add category and here you can say buttons or whatever you want to say it so now if you reload it and if you scroll down you can see that we have a new section here that is saying uh, buttons and in that section we have a button if you drag and drop it you will see that button with those css styles uh, from tailwind css has been added so in this way you can add as many components as possible as you want say in the same way like these are added so they also have added the images so i guess you can also add the images image uh, preview of every component if you want to and you will find that from their documentation so let's add some more interesting component uh, let me search internet for that tailwind css uh, free components so let's see if i find some interesting one that we could copy quickly so this is the form that i want to add okay so for that i will just click on the copy button it will give me the code and i can come here and add another block editor dot block manager dot add and here you can give it a name like form and here i will pass an object give it a label for a uh, form and in the content i will give it the content that i copied from that website like this and after that i will add the category forms okay save it go back to the preview here and scroll down you can see that this time we have another section called forms and this form is available here you can add multiple blocks in the same category and you can see as soon as i drag and dropped the form has been added successfully these are just a few examples of how you can leverage grapes js events and scripting to add interactivity to your components while using tailwind's modular classes for dynamic styling the possible possibilities are endless and you can create complex interactive designs using this powerful combination in this tutorial we have explored the power of integrating tailwind with grapes js to create stunning responsive interfaces using visual drag and drop editor by combining the utility first approach of tailwind css with an intuitive interface of grapes js you can save time and effort while enhancing your design workflow we have covered the entire process from setting up the environment and installing the necessary dependencies to designing with tailwind classes and adding interactivity we have seen how you can create basic layouts applying responsive design principles and build interactive components like models the real world application of this integration are vast whether you are building a simple website a complex e-commerce platform or an enterprise level application integrating tailwind with tailwind with grape js can streamline your design process and improve the overall user experience if you found this tutorial valuable be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on cutting edge web development tools and techniques don't forget to share this video with your fellow developers and let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below your feedback helps me to improve bring you more valuable content thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of tailwind and grapes js integration we hope this tutorial has inspired you to explore the possibilities and unlock the full potential of these powerful tools 
stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content happy coding